What's up YouTube? Welcome to episode 6 of Pokemon Fire Red Universal Randomizer. In the last episode, we got through Nugget Bridge, and in this episode, we're actually going to Bill's house. Alright, new team member on this amazing team. Whoops, BB1. Whoops, BB1 again. Oh my god, okay, BB1 three times. Welcome to Team Yami, the Absol. I said I want an Absol, I call it one. It's got some decent stats, a great attack. Got yeah, flamethrower, paddle dance, conversion, older sleuth, and I don't think anyone else has any new moves. Yeah, I'm. Yeah, we're looking pretty good. I don't think I got any new moves. So Yami's on the team. I'm very happy with that. Let's go. Uh, let's go start killing some hikers and uh, taking their money. See you now. All right. Got two right here. Got a seal. Uh, got paddle dance for you. All right. Yami's so damn good. Marie, I'll stay in because you know I feel like it. And. Okay, looks like this thing has recover. Screw that. Go to night. And blast burn. Oh god. Alright, magnitude 7. Goodbye. That thing's dead. And let's keep on going around fighting these hikers. I thought we'd get here last episode, but you know, with the scyther we ran into and everything else, you know, we ran out of time. Oh well, it's not a big deal, you know. We'll just handle everything now. We'll go for pedal dance. Oh wow, it actually did well. Um. I guess I'll go. T oh, you confused me, you son of a bitch. Whatever, you're dead, so. Level 20 for Yami. Very good Pokemon. Very happy to have it. However, I will put it away right now because I'm gonna put out, uh. Put BB. And actually, someone asked me this, I believe, in the last episode or two episodes ago. Uh, why train my Pokemon all evenly? The thing is about me, I hate having overpowered Pokemon. I don't think it's fun. So I always train my Pokemon evenly. Even like before I started doing videos on YouTube, like I would always do it myself. Cause that, that was never fun to have. Like having all of the, uh, like maybe one Pokemon just being like level 50 and everything else being like level 30. I hated that. And I've never done that in my, in my Pokemon career, quote unquote, if you want to call it that. I'm not going to learn Encore. I just never thought it was fun. So I never did. I always used to train my Pokemon. You're very close to even level, if not even level. Like, you can see, like, I'm switching Nellen, because I don't like every Pokemon not being the exact same level. Or around the same level, like, benchmark levels, like 30, 40, 50. I always try to make Pokemon the same level at that point. So, you know, it works. That's how I've always done it. Maybe a little OCD-ish, but it's it's a game. It's fun, so I don't really... It doesn't really bother me, you know? So, Poliwag right here. Uh, Thunderbolt it. I switch to the right Pokemon, Electrike. I'll actually stay in because I don't think it could hurt me anyway. Go for Icy Wind. And, oh, I got Revenge on right, That's a decent move, but I don't really care about the fighting type. The fighting type's not going to really affect me. Got this hiker guy right here. Let's take him on and see what he has. Alright, he's got a Mudkip. So Thunderbolt will actually kill you in one hit. 20 for now. And Chinchou, one of my favorite Pokemon. However, Thunderbolt, yeah, it's dead. I wasn't sure if it'd be, uh... Ooh, he's actually got another Pokemon. I thought it was done. I'll send in the man. And... We will go with the Crash Claw. Alright, and Geo Dude. Okay. Um... Uh, I, have, I have Crash Claw. It's fine. <laughs> it doesn't matter. His Pokemon's down. And the man of level 20 as well. So yeah, everyone's getting up to the same level. Kind of like what I planned. I'll put Lucky up front to end that. And, uh, we'll be pretty high level actually to fight Misty. I think her highest level Pokemon is in the regular game starting level 21. However, in this one, who knows. Oh wow, it actually had heat burn, but it doesn't matter. I might get burned, but I'll just uh... Wow! Oh, I forgot that uh... That's not super effective or anything because... Whoops. Abra up next. Uh, I'll go to BB actually. And just Thunder Punch. Oh, it actually lived and had Spark, so... That's not good. Uh, Lucky took some damage. Forget that. I will put the man out front. Let him handle it. We got an item up here. Let's grab that. It is TM43 in prison. Uh, I think that's like one of those like mean look kind of things where Pokemon can't escape. So that's kind of pointless. That would have been Secret Power. I remember that because Secret Power is actually one of my favorite TMs in the early part of Pokemon because it is pretty powerful, and you know you get some decent things from it. So Crash Claw, goodbye, and Gas. I'll just stay in. I'll look it. Oh, I'd actually live too. Alright, you're dead. <laughs> I know I'm saying Pokemon are dead, so I've fainted, but it's a it's a ghost. It's dead, so. Alright, got one more trainer, and then uh, we're on to Bill's house and see what he has for us. Three Pokemon, got Trap Niche, go for Crush Claw. And Meryl, you know, we got this thing figured out by now, but I know let him handle it. Or her handle it. Thunderbolt, you. 
and Gloopin. I don't care, I'll stay in. Go for Thunderbolt. Going back to Meryl, it's uh, interesting that that's going to be a fairy type Pokemon. Uh, for those of you who don't know, uh, Generation 6 has a new type called fairy type, and some old Pokemon are being named fairy type, such as the Clefairy right here. Or Bill, you know. <laughs> he is a fairy, but it's a different kind of fairy. Um, yeah, several Pokemon Jigglypuff, Clefairy, Meryl. That's all I can think of off the top of my head. There's probably some more. Guardivore, I think, is becoming a fairy type. I don't, I don't even know, but it's like super effective against dragon and weak against dark, or maybe super effective against dark, I'm not sure, but it's uh, interesting. The Sniffion, the new Eevee evolution, is the fairy type, so you know, that's how they introduced it. And coming from someone who is not exactly crazy about Generation 6, I am not, I'm not really looking forward to it that much, I personally, I'll be honest, I'll say this right now. I did not like Generation 5 or or upcoming 6. Uh, Generation 4, I mean, I did LP. It was okay, but then again, I didn't really play Sinnoh. I think, no. Is that the region? Yeah, I don't even... Yeah, Sinnoh is 4th. I don't even know the 5th region. Ori, some shit like that. No, Ori's a Pokemon XD. Uh, that region. Nuova, or I don't know. It's like UUOVA. I'm not even sure what it is. But whatever. Going back, we got the SS ticket. And... Generation 6, it's like based in France or something like that. It's weird. I I'm not crazy about it. I'm really not. Maybe as it comes closer, I'll consider buying a 3DS because that also sucks. I don't want to spend a couple hundred dollars on a 3DS just to play Pokemon. And I mean, there are other games I'd like to buy on the 3DS, but, you know, it's, it's, uh, it's just a situation. I don't know. I mean, I'm not, like, saying it's going to be terrible, Generation 6. I'm just not crazy about it. I mean, it's my opinion on it. I just... I don't think it's going to be that good. I just... I'm not someone who, like, only likes Generation 1. I, I like Generations 1 through, I guess, 3. I mean, I, I, I love 3. 3 is my favorite generation. But 4, I can't say 1 through 4 because I didn't even really play Soul Silver. I mean, uh, Diamond, Pearl, and Platinum. I, I played Soul Silver and Heart Cold. But... I don't know, I, I never could get into the new Pokemon, I never really cared about them. I, I can be honest with you guys, I, I still don't know the, the starters for Gen 4 and 5. I mean, I know uh, Piplup, Turtwig, and Chinchow. I know. Chimchar. Yeah, that sounds about right. But I don't know their evolutions, I don't even, I don't even care about them. And it's different coming from someone who grew up playing Generation 1, 2, and 3, where I can do all of them by a car. I probably can name 100... 120, 130 of the Generation 1 Pokemon, which is fun, which is uh, kind of something that is funny, but I probably named 6, 7 of Gen 5, that doesn't really seem good, that seems kind of sad. I played through Generation 5 once and I hated it, I just honestly hated it, I couldn't, by the end of the game, I couldn't tell you any of the Pokemon I saw, I didn't even care about them, I couldn't name them, I always just, that was the one game I actually trained one Pokemon, I trained a Charizard, I got a Charizard, in a, in a trade, and I just trained up to level 100, because that was the only Pokemon I actually liked on my team, and it was level 100 by, like, the 7th badge, 8th badge, and that's it. I don't know. I'm not even sure what to say. I, I just didn't care about the Pokemon. Whenever they were switching to something, I was like, oh, shit, I don't know what that is. Charizard, you can handle it. And 9 times out of 10, I was fine, because a high level of Pokemon, like, 15, 20 levels, and, of course, I am exaggerating saying Charizard was level 100. It's probably, like, the early 4 level 100. But by that point, I didn't care about the game. I was using a, a Gen 1 team. I had Charizard, I had like Pikachu, I had like a, I don't know, Poliwag or something. I don't even remember my team. But I know I had a Charizard and a Pikachu. I didn't care about Gen 5. So I was just playing through a new game that wasn't even that much fun playing with Kanto Pokemon. I was like, oh, okay, whatever. I got TM28 right here. I'm going to stop my little rant on, on Gen 6 and everything. I don't know. It's just... I don't know, it's, it's kind of sad that I'm not crazy about Pokemon, and there's Curse, that's, that's actually kind of cool, but, um, it's, it is kind of sad that I'm not a big fan of the new upcoming Pokemon, but, oh well, I mean, it's my opinion, I'm sure it will change, I thought it would when they released the new Pokemon, like, over time, I made a video saying my first impressions of X and Y when they announced it, and now, it might have actually gotten worse, my opinion of the game, but, who knows, it might release something that's kind of interesting about it that makes me like it, but right now, you will not ever see me play Gen 6, right now at least. Of course, that opinion will change over time. 
Uh, we got Misty up. I don't know what she's gonna have. I'll go with Yami, because Yami's a goddamn beast. And we'll let him handle what we're fighting. So, let's go start off with this trainer right here. And... Yeah, I gotta, get off, I gotta get off the topic. I mean, this is something I really do not like talking about, because I just really am just not a fan of it. And as I say that, of course, I'm still talking about it. Oh, well, we got a Paris right here, level 16. I got the right Pokemon out there, going for Flamethrower. And... Alright, well, I'll say one last thing. Uh, Pokemon certainly changed. It certainly changed from what I remember as a kid. I, <laughs> It really has. Of course, as a kid, I mean, I, I remember playing Gen 1 when I was like 4. I remember getting Gen 2 when I was like 5 or 6 for Christmas. And then, you know, it just all grew up from there. And then, it's funny how much they changed the game. So, I'm not saying it's bad, just saying they changed it. So, off my thoughts, we got this Gassy who's dead from Petal Lance, very nice. And we only got uh, two other trainers in here, Misty and one other one, so I'll fight her, fight Misty, and then we'll call it a day right there. So, let's keep on going to that trainer that I mentioned. Here she is. What? You? I'm more than good enough for you. Misty won't have to be bothered. <laughs> Whatever you say. Alright, so you are going to have... One Pokemon, you have a Love Disk, who I famously thought was a Water Fire type because, well, I knew it was I knew it was a uh, Water type, but it looked red, so I thought, oh, okay, it's probably a Fire type. And I think you can learn a Fire move. I probably am wrong. Wow, Akanuka did all. Akanuka, whatever it is, Bazooka Nuka. No, I don't care. Did a lot of damage, but then I can also Absol is not the most offensive Pokemon. I probably one of the worst defensive Pokemon on my team. 42 defense, actually, you know, I mean... Oh, Morning Rest, um... Maybe. Maybe, yeah, well, instead of Odor Sooth, I don't care about Odor Sooth, I'll learn, uh, I'll learn Rest. Not bad. I could definitely use that once or twice. Got a Cherry Berry on that. And, um... Let's lead off with BB. BB has my most diverse moves. It's got... It's got Thunder... Water and grass and normal, so I, I can hit anything that she has, hopefully super effectively. So with that, number two gym battle, Misty. Ha, you're a new face. One of those trainers who have a policy about Pokemon can turn pro. What's your approach when you catch and train Pokemon? Catch all the Raditas and Magikarps and Zubats in the world. My policy is an all offensive Roar type Pokemon. Here's my Diglett. Who knows? Alright, so number two of eight. Misty, two Pokemon. Starting off with a leap. Yeah, I mean, that thing can clearly swim. Uh, Water Pulse actually should be super effective, which is kind of coincidental slash ironic. Oh, it's not super effective, oh well. Because Water Pulse is the move that you would actually give out in this gym. Uh, let's go for Leaf Blade. That might do a little more damage. It might kill the leap. So, Leaf Blade. Oh, uh, wow, okay. Uh, it's got Furious Wipe. It's not an incredibly powerful Pokemon. It's very defensive, but, you know. Um, she's probably gonna heal. Yep, she healed with the Super Potion, so all that damage it was kind of pointless, but oh well. Go back to the Water Pulse, maybe get the Confusion off. And, nope, did not. Um, I think Leaf Blade is more powerful, so I'll stick with the Leaf Blade. Uh, however, it doesn't have the chance of Confusion, has a high critical rate. No, it did not help me. Fury Swipe again. Oh well, I don't know how it really does Fury Swipe without any hands. Maybe just, like, hits me with its, like, leave things, but oh well. Leaf Blade on the Leap is going to kill it, and she has one Pokemon left. Alright, so finally for Misty, she has Muck. I have a super effective move. I have Knight, who has Magnitude. Alright, so send in Knight, here we go, against that Muck, who is level 21. Okay, so go for that Magnitude, Magnitude 7, very nice move. I don't expect to do that much, because Muck is very defensive, but who knows. Okay, or critical hit does about a little over a, th a third. Does a little over a half. It's got ingrain, which actually is a pain in the ass. I thought the uh, leap would have that. Now she's gonna start healing up, so I have to make sure I can kill it now. So now it actually is like half life. So magnitude, magnitude seven. I don't think I'm gonna kill him unless I get another crit. Let's see. How about? Oh, I killed him and got the crit. Oh yeah, night. Nice. What a boss you are. That was uh, that was good. Uh, that was a quick battle. Wow, you're too much. Alright. You can have the Cascade Batch for sure you beat me. Okay. 
Very, uh, very nice. I thought that'd actually take a little bit longer, but we can keep on going. I mean, we have a little more we can do. We got TMO3. What she's gonna say is a uh, water pulse, but we know that clearly is not. I just hope it's not like Splash. Uh, TMO3, Hydro Cannon! Okay. Okay, I'll take the Hydro Cannon. And who do I want to learn? Hmm. Uh, I really want to give it to Yami. But I have to check if Hydro Cannon is a uh, special move. If it's special, I will not learn it. If it's physical, oh my god. Oh my god, they're gonna die. Uh, if, if it is special, I'll give it to, uh, what's her face? Uh, Nell. I have to check that after the episode. No one, no one really bothered telling me in the comments. I'll do it right after the episode. So one of those two will have Hydro Cannon, which is a great move, but I'm happy, I'm happy with that. Uh, let's go heal real quick and, uh, you know, oops, press the R button. And we'll, uh, we'll not end it off now. We got a little more we can do. Because I want to check out Pokemon that are right below this town. I believe it's our, like, six? About seven? I'm not even sure. But oh well. We'll head in here, past the Diglett house, which uh, gave us, gave us a prison or something. I don't even remember what it was. Something, oh, it was Curse, actually. It was Curse. Uh, down here is Route 5. Okay, I was close enough. Let's check out Route 5 Pokemon. First off, right here, we got a Ninetales. Alright, Ninetales is a good Pokemon. Uh, we had, of course, the, uh, had the famous Vulpix for probably an episode. It's going for Trick, which doesn't do anything to kill that. And we'll check out a couple more Pokemon in Route 5, and then we'll see what happens after that. Got another Ninetales here, so this might be some good experience for whoever gets Hydro Cannon. Oh, it has actually cl uh, Crush Claw, so it actually has a good move. Hurt itself, got a Pika Berry. A Petr- That wasn't a Pika Berry. It was some kind of berry. I thought it's a Pika, but... I wasn't expecting that, it was kind of weird. Uh, got another Pokemon, got Nidorino. Not a huge fan of Nidorino, however, it was my first shiny, so it's cool. Check out another Pokemon right here, another Ninetales. Alright, I'll do two more Pokemon, then I'll uh, go to where I really want to go. So, ooh, a Chansey! Okay. Chansey's interesting, gives you a shit ton of experience. So it's always worth fighting. So I'm going to definitely kill it right now get the experience. Got 400 experience, which is just as much as I got for uh, the Little Leap in Missy's gym, which is cool. Got another chance here, right here. okay. I'll uh, definitely kill all the Chanseys. I'm, I'm a huge unfan of Chansey. I personally hate Chansey. I hate Pokemon that are like that, where they have all like, HP and ooh, a Polywag, that's cool. Um, and like no ability to attack whatsoever. I mean, Chansey has respectable special attack, but not anything great. Uh, right here is the daycare center, which I didn't mean to go into, but if I want to train Pokemon in there, uh, I would put it in there and just leave it. I, I don't feel like doing that because I don't trust the guys with uh, my Pokemon. You're a trade. Uh, no, I don't have a Nidoran. Maybe you should, you should give me something random. That might be interesting to do if I can actually get it. But, you know, that's not what I'm really focusing on. I'm running around the underground path. Which I don't think you can use a bike in because Oak's a bastard. And uh, welcome to Route 6. Okay, so I was close. Uh, there is an item over here that I actually want to grab right here. It's a citrus berry. Now, if I remember correctly, on the other side, however, there is something else. Something actually worth getting. It's rare candy. Yeah. All right. My memory of Pokemon actually is good in this game, at least. Uh, Route 6 Pokemon right here. You got a Chikorita, which is very nice, however. Um... Maybe. Maybe. Let's head with Barrage. Let's see what it, see what it has. So Barrage on the Chikorita. Two hits. Three hits. Okay. It's got Super Fang. Oh shit, that's actually a great move. It's a very powerful move that does half damage, which is nice. I'm gonna catch it. I'm gonna catch Chikorita. Why not? Chikorita in a Pokeball. Can I catch it? Let's see. One. Two. Aw, oh, come on. I thought this was gonna be Soul Silver, you know? Where I caught you in a quick ball. But that was fun. Alright, second attempt on the Chikorita. Can I catch it? Let's see. I kinda want this thing. Here we go. Not even a shake, and I sound like an announcer whenever I do that. Ice Punch? You don't even have hands. Screw you. You're gonna kill my BB bastard. Switch out to, uh. Does anyone have any status moves? I don't think anyone has a status move. 
No, no one has a status move. Uh, send in Yami. Yami's got it. Uh, third attempt. Pokeball on the Chikorita. I want to catch this thing. It probably is going to be good. Here we go. One, two. Ah, you bastard. Almost got caught. Super Fang me, you know, we see how that does. Pokeball again on Chikorita. Can I catch it? Let's see. How about nine to shake? Okay, come on. You're being ridiculous. Little Chikorita, you're being ridiculous. Come on, join the team. Come on, let's do it. Come on, join the team. Not even a shake. All right, screw it. Speeding up. We're catching Chikorita. I'm catching it. Come on, come on, come on. Three shakes. Yeah, all right. Sped it up, caught the Pokemon. Which tells you, kids, we speed things up 500 times. Pokemon want to join you. All right, Chikorita, I'm going to press the B button and not nickname you, you bastard. My fault. I was going to name you Teddy. Or something like that. Maybe, probably Teddy. Uh, check out another Pokemon that won it off. Let's see where Pokemon's gonna end off this epic conclusion of the episode. How about it is a Jinx? No. <laughs> no. Get the fuck out. Get the fuck out of here. I'm gonna burn you. I'm gonna ignite. It's got scratch. I don't. Get Fire Blast. Get the hell out of here. You don't belong here, you stupid, stupid Pokemon. All right, it's dead. Uh, next time, we'll be heading into Vir Viridian City and uh, investigating that. Night of Level 21 and expect the unexpected, you know. And uh, I will see you guys then.